Dream teams don't come any more dreamlike than the Americans who set foot on the basketball court at the Olympic Games. The US dominance was already well established by 1992 when they stepped up a gear and sent the professionals along to the party. A cast of NBA All-Stars arrived in Barcelona starring Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley, Scotty Pippen and Larry Bird. In 92 and 96, they played 16 games, scored 1,754 points and no one got within 22 points of them. They were, in a word, unbeatable. The USA came to the Millennium Games in Sydney as the hottest of hot favourites. A squad of NBA superstars starring Kevin Garnett, three-time All-Star, Jason Kidd, three-time All-Star, Alonzo Mourning, five-time All-Star, and Vince Carter, NBA Rookie of the Year. The supporting cast wasn't bad either. They were head and shoulders above all the rest. They rushed aside the old enemy Russia in the quarterfinals. It brought the United States team to a semi-final against Lithuania. Bronze medalists in Barcelona and Atlanta, but scarcely household names. None of them played in the NBA, but there was talent on the roster, including some established players from top European leagues. Saronas Yashakevichus of FC Barcelona, Saulus Dombregas of Tau Ceramica, and Ginteris Enicus of Seska Moscow. But their one true superstar, Arvidas Sarbonis, had retired. Surely they were no match for the dream team. Nearly 15,000 supporters were in the Sydney Superdome for the semi finals. The first half went as expected, Lithuania struggled. The United States scored at will. It was business as usual. A three-pointer from Jason Kidd on the buzzer took them to half-time, with the United States leading 48-36. The second half, however, was a different story. The Lithuanian team re-emerged, reinvented. It was game on. For the next 15 minutes, the scores were neck and neck. Lithuania scored, the USA scored. Amazingly, the game was in the balance, deep in the fourth quarter. With only 96 seconds left on the clock, Alonso Mourning committed a foul, ending his game and giving Lithuania two free throws, with the USA about to throw it away. Sharunas Jasikevicius hadn't missed from the line and wouldn't start now. And Carter drives, he goes up and is fouled. Basket does not go in. The foul is going to be on Stamburgas. Carter will shoot two with a chance to put the U.S. in the lead. Second shot now, 80-80, and it's missed. It's tipped and loose ball falling down. Everyone's diving, a Lithuania have it. It was all square going into the final minute. The clock continued to run down and the drama only became more frantic. Lithuania missed a three-pointer but got the foul. It's a chance for Lithuania to take control of this game. The upset could be on. But Ramunas Shishkauskas missed two out of three from the line. Vince Carter scored at the other end and the USA had a one-point lead. Carter again going for the basket over to Minskis and hits and the US leads by one. Full court pressure by the U.S. Garnett blocks the ball out of bounds and he's fouled and the rush for the loose ball. Tominskis, I think, got the foul. Garnett will shoot two. Garnett at the line, shooting two. U.S. up by one. We've seen a lot of missed foul shots under the pressure of the last couple of minutes and Garnett has missed his first. Second shot, it's up and missed, and McDyess with the rebound, off the glass, U.S. up by three. They need the points quickly, on the drive, lays it in, a one-point game, and they're going to have to foul. 
U.S. up by two, still five seconds. This jump wall is crucial. Medias has it, but there's a whistle. He's called for jumping too soon. Lithuania get the ball. Just time for one shot now. Can the Lithuanians with a three beat the dream team? Sharunas Jaskiewicz had destiny in his hands as he sprinted full court and threw for three. And game's on the line, shots up, and he has missed it. Heartbreaking for Lithuania. The US has dodged a bullet. By a matter of centimeters, the dream team had avoided infamy. They kept their unbeaten record by the skin of their teeth, but they'd been rocked. The Lithuanians were shell-shocked. They left the arena, forced to contemplate what might have been. They went through to the bronze medal match and beat Australia to stand on the podium. With their authority undermined, the United States reacted powerfully in the final. They beat France without breaking sweat. Another gold medal for the dream team. Lithuania, however, became the most heroic of heroic losers. A few agonizing centimeters from causing the biggest upset of all time in the Olympic Games.